Welcome to my crystal block and ship collection tour. Hey everybody, it's Brandon the Weekend Cruiser where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And I've got a lot of requests to show off my crystal block and ship collection that I use as a backdrop for the Weekend Cruiser videos. Now I'm gonna go down a little bit of memory lane. There's some fun stories around this, some reminiscing, uh, but hopefully you'll enjoy it and learn more about how all these kind of came to be. So this is the view of the ships and crystal block collection. I've got a lot of furniture moved out of the way so that I can show this to you all, but it is all of the ships that I have been on and the crystal blocks that I've received from Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society. Now, when I first started cruising, I wanted to pick out something I could collect that would remind me of the experiences I had gone on, but honestly, I didn't want a lot of tchotchkes and knickknacks and things to just take up space in the house. And so I started collecting ship models because I only get one per ship. So if I am on, let's say, Freedom of the Seas for 50 times, um, I only have one model. That, that's actually not true. I actually have a second one of that, but I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, but for the most part, I have one of every ship. So if we come up to the crystal blocks though, these are really neat and impressive and they look amazing by the way. And so the history of the crystal blocks, let's talk about them. So these are from starting at 140 crown and anchor points, you get one crystal block. After that, you're gonna get it every 70 points. So I am at just over 1500 points as of making this video and I have 20 crystal blocks. So there are 10 on each side and I'm trying to kind of wall up the room here, if you will, with them. I keep joking that one of these days, I'm a wallpaper, a guest bathroom with it, but they are here and they're actually pretty heavy. So they are a lead crystal block. So if you go through TSA, if you get one of these in a foreign port or you have to fly, it's gonna trigger the alarm when you put it through the x-ray machine, but they'll just pull it out and look at it. No harm, no foul there. And then the ones in the middle are interesting. So these are different than the other crystal blocks that you just saw. So these are the pinnacle recognition or milestone achievement blocks. So the first one that you're gonna get is going to be, the first one I got was over here, was the Freedom of the Seas. And that was my pinnacle cruise on August 20th. And so it calls it out. The crystal is probably really tough to read in the screen, but hopefully you'll be able to see that. My next one that I got, you then will start getting these every 350 crown and anchor points. And the importance of this is not only do you get this milestone block or um, stratum is what they're called, you're going to get a free cruise to match. So you get a free cruise at 700, you'll get your first stratum. And then I got my second one at 350 points after that or 1050 on Oasis of the Seas. And then in the middle, you see that the size is actually changed. So when you get to 1400, the size increases on the crown and anchor stratum and you get a bigger block. You also are gonna get a nicer free cruise. So the first two are gonna be balcony staterooms valued at a certain dollar amount. And then your 1400 one is where you start getting junior suites um, up to, I think it's $3,200. I'll have to check my math on that. Um, but that is a really, really good achievement. It's gonna change again when you get to, I think it's 2,100 points. There's a whole different stratum that's even bigger, that's got a um, world on the top of it that looks really, really impressive. Now, coming over, let me show you, I forgot to throw this in there. So all those crystal blocks are the old style. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it grows. But the new style of crystal block is this one here. Everything's gonna have color. To me, it's much easier to read, it's prettier. The crystal blocks, when I'm sitting on my couch, I have no idea which block is which. You can't actually see the etching, and I've not figured out a good lighting system to do that, but the new colored ones, I think actually look really good. I don't know how it's gonna fit into the collection here, um, but I'm excited to see if I could start building like its own little wall of um, colorful crystal blocks. Coming down to the ships, let's talk about some of those. So I've got some unique ones up here. So Scarlet Lady Virgin Voyages did, I think, a fantastic job. I saw this crystal block ship replica and had to have it. Um, it doesn't fit with any of my other ship models, but it clearly fits in with all the glass that is up here from the crystal blocks. So it's kind of weird that I've got a crystal Virgin Voyages cruise ship sitting in front of all my Royal Caribbean crystal blocks. Um, but I think it looks really, really good. Another one that I have up on the top, and honestly it's cause these don't fit below um, because I'm kind of starting to run out of space, you all, is the MSC Davina. And I put it up here cause it is much different than the other ship models. So if you go to other cruise lines, 
you're going to you know, have to take what they get. And so they don't all follow the same uh, mold or same pattern for making their ship models. Coming down to the bottom, I actually do have these organized. They are organized in um, size of the actual ship. So what you will find is that you don't actually, the ship model doesn't actually represent, they're not all on the same scale is what I'm trying to say. So the um, Oasis of the Seas, the Symphony of the Seas, those down here are gonna be at the very end. And then as we come closer in, they're gonna get smaller. You'll also see that I do have a Virgin Voyages ship down here, um, which is a really neat one. I bought two ship models on just one cruise, but this one fit in with the collection down below. And so I wanted to make sure that I had it as well. There's some fun stories here. So one of the block ships that I have is Empress of the Seas. And the first thing that I noticed when I got Empress of the Seas, and let's see if you all notice it. The language or the name of the ship is on the opposite side. So if you turn it over, you'll be able to see Empress of the Seas, and that is on the wrong side or on the opposite side of every other ship model here. I don't know if that makes it a collector's item or more important, I'm not really sure. But it also reminds me of when I got this. I have very distinct memories of getting this because as you can see, it's when the captains used to stand in the shop and they would sign your ship model. So they would sell them and the captain would sign them and that was their promotion that they would run is the captain would sign the ship model. I don't actually know what captain it was. I can't read the signature and I don't remember that part of it, but I do remember him actually doing it. And interestingly enough, the smallest ship in the fleet is Vision of the Seas. Empress and Majesty, they're bigger, um, which is kind of weird to me that, you know, they are the bigger ships. This here is the Empress, as you can see, and you've got, who is this one? Majesty being the absolute smallest by a long shot. They continue to change. So even all the way down here to Wonder of the Seas, you see that it is smaller than the other cruise lines. So if I, or say cruise lines, the other Oasis class ships. So you've got Allure and Harmony, which are big boy ships. And then you're gonna have Wonder of the Seas here, which is still a Oasis class ship, but it is, um, a smaller version of the other ones. I think that it's just as pretty, I like it, but it is a different size or dimension. It makes the Wonder look smaller than its peers. Interesting story on the Wonder. I went on the third sailing on Wonder of the Seas and they were already sold out of all the ship models. Everybody that went there wanted a ship model. Can't blame them, I wanted one too. And so they were sold out for months. So I wasn't able to get a ship model when I was on the Wonder but thanks to a very good friend of mine and a good connection, um, I was actually able to meet a crew member on Wonder of the Seas in Barcelona when I was there getting ready to go on uh, my Mediterranean cruise, and they hand-delivered me a ship model from the ship. Now, that was only because I had really great connections to make that happen, um, and I'm very thankful, but that ship went a long ways to get here, and so I'm very thankful to have that as part of the collection. And I did mention too, you know, being a collector, one thing that I struggle with on these ships is that these ship models change. Oh, I forgot to show you the celebrity one. There's my one and only celebrity ship right now, Celebrity Infinity. It is in the same model, but it's a little bit of a smaller scale. But what I was saying was these are, you know, the ships change, right? So if you've been cruising for a while, you know that we used to not have slides on these ships. There used to not be rock climbing walls. There's all these things that they have added that were not true to the original ship. So the, norm, the first ship models did not have those. So after an amplification like Freedom of the Seas, the Freedom of the Seas I have up here is non-amplified. So let's pull that out. So Freedom of the Seas here, non-amplified. I actually have another ship model in the closet. I don't put it on display because it's not the first one. Um, that is the amplified version of Freedom of the Seas and the ship model looks different. So the collector in me says, I kind of need, you know, the new version of it. If I'm a true collector of these things, like I need to get the upgrade. But at the end of the day, I really like the old one. Um, and I like having just one of each one up here. If I start doing every new ship upgrade that comes out, um, I'm gonna have a lot of ships all of a sudden. So I'm not quite doing that, but let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on collecting the older and the newer ship models. Are you doing both? Are you doing just 
one. So there is my ship model collection as well as my crown and anchor crystal block collection from Royal Caribbean. This is probably one of my favorite tables in the entire house because I have so many amazing memories that sit just on this table. There used to be a lot of other stuff, but I've decluttered it a little bit. But when I look at this table, it brings me nothing but happiness and excitement to be able to continue building out the collection. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon.